What's up, sons? It's Blindrod with Savatech once again, and welcome to another episode of What's in the Box. I have a little GoPro over here. I don't know if we'll use any footage of it. We'll see how it looks. It's supposed to, you know, have cool perspectives. We can at least grab shots and so on. I know some people ask for separate camera shots, so I'm gonna try that. We'll see how it goes. But this is the series where I just basically unbox stuff that's come in. You get a little preview of what's coming to the channel and so on. If you guys saw yesterday's video, that Z-Box actually was unboxed in the previous What's in the Box episode. And of course the ASRock router, which you can find links for in the descriptions below and so on and so forth. Without further ado, let's get into it. Today's theme is gonna be, well, another PC mod that's coming up. We're planning on hopefully getting this PC mod done before January for Pack South, and then we'll probably be taking it out to, of course, DreamHack and QuakeCon as well next year, unless we end up doing yet another one. So you ask, what are we doing with it? I think you'll start to see here quite shortly. First, we'll start with the smallest boxes first. Here we go. I can do it. I can do it. Hope I didn't mess that up. So this one should be from uh, our good old friends at uh, V1 Tech. Yes, it is. So we have uh, the light kit here. We have a V1 Tech logo. You can check out V1 Tech down below. We have some nice, nice cable extensions here. They're orange and black. I'm really loving these. One is all orange. I don't remember doing one all orange. I guess I did. I guess I did. I'm pretty happy with that though. 24 pin, a six pin, and an eight pin. And then down here, I think we have it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. check that out. This is an RGB backplate for the RTX 2080. And if you guys don't get the theme yet, you'll see more of that coming here shortly. So awesome. Super shout out to Hassan for sending these stuff these parts over and helping me customize my PC easily. Of course, you guys can always go to B1 Tech yourselves and customize your PC easily as well. Links in the description. Not a sponsor, just links. So let's see, what do we got here? My phone's going crazy. All right, so what do we got in here? This is the Mod My Mods box for this build. It's not everything, I don't think but we shall see what all is in here oh oh the struggle is real struggle is real when they uh when they pack stuff up they sure pack it up oh it is packed tight oh look in there oh 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 so here's what i tell you guys we have some stuff and the reason, this is weird, what's that? Okay, so the reason we don't have everything here actually for this build is up here, you'll see we have the Prism and Tech deal. And we already unboxed a few other things that we're gonna be using in this build. I think the Alpha Cool Pump for now, we might use that Alpha Cool Pump. Here's the Nexus CPU cooler, which is pretty nice. Um, we also got frosted. I didn't think I ordered frosted. If I ordered frosted, I wasn't planning on it. I might have ordered frosted. Sure looks like I did. I've never bent this type before. I know, uh, okay, no, it's not. It's just borrow. I don't know if this is enough tubing, to be completely honest. We might have to order more. Yeah, I thought the 500 millimeters were longer. We might order more. Ah, what else is in here? To help bend the tubes. I did get a better cutter. So it's been bugging me. And uh, you can get this off Mod My Mods as well. Because mine is okay, but it, it's not. This is much better. That'll speed up our process. Well, now I'm a little worried too because I don't know if that tube's gonna be really thick enough. And we ordered a whole bunch of fittings for it. 
It'll be okay. That's really, really thin. I haven't really worked with tube this thin in a long time. Eight millimeter, 10 millimeter outer. Is that 10 or 12? 12 outer, 12 outer. This last time, last few times I've done 16. I thought doing thin would be cool. We'll see how it looks. Just random fittings. Borrow fittings, my favorite. And yes, I buy them all. So I can say they're my favorite. So, there's all that. I'm second guessing myself on uh, size of tube. Let me know what you guys think. Cause we do have a, it's not a massive case, but it's a bigger case. I, it might be okay. It might be okay. I was thinking that the lines of thinking were for this theme, which you'll see. Uh, the other things, uh, so this is a CPU cooler block, the Nexos, and then the Nexos ST30. And the reason we unboxed the this one over here, which came in a little bit ago from Antec, this is awesome. This is a, an RGB kit, which we'll do a special on on this channel for. Uh, it comes with three fans, and it also comes with the uh, the light strips, two light strips, and it comes with the controller that integrates with everything. It integrates with Asus Aura, MSI, ASRock, and uh, I think Gigabyte as well. It doesn't specifically say that, but I think it does as well for that. What's super awesome about this is it's 60 bucks and it comes with literally everything to light the fuck out of your case with. Just gonna slap these fittings over here. It's falling into madness. Okay, on to the good stuff. The last surprise, the last hurrah. This is from New Egg. I suggest using Power or PayPal when you go to New Egg. Oh my God. We're gonna have to get a special on this bad boy. Yes, that is a Call of Duty Black Ops 4 motherboard. And I'm super stoked on it. It is the Maximus Hero, or the Maximus 11 Hero, Wi-Fi, Black Ops. You don't get to see inside this box yet. You're gonna have to hit that sub button and that notification button to catch this. Mmm, supports SLI if we wanted to. Not only is this, is this a, a high quality, but it's also a special edition motherboard. It's not the highest of highest level, but it's still a Maximus Hero 11. It's pretty beastly. I can't wait to build this PC. So that's a Z390 motherboard, by the way, as well. Then over here, we have the final piece which Antec sent over. It's the DF500 RGB. We'll unbox it for you guys real quick, even though I'm probably not gonna start building in this for a little bit yet. And this is one of their newer ones. And Antec's been really changing the game up. They've definitely come out with a lot of stuff, including like that kit I showed you guys just now. And here's the DF500. I really did enjoy their last case that we put the last mod into that we took to QuakeCon. And I think I did choose the right size tubing. I am not disappointed now taking a look at this. It is a full ATX case, full mid tower, but it is a mid tower. It's what I would call reasonably sized. Um, it does look like it has all the fan filters. The big thing about this case is the front, which I haven't even seen yet. Let's take a look, which I believe it is plastic. It is not metal. It looks like tinted plastic. I'm gonna leave all the covers on it for now. It comes with three RGB fans. So then we have the additional three from the kit. So we can put six up here in the top, three in the front. I don't think technically it supports uh, 
water cooling in the top. But now that I look at it, I actually am second guessing that. I think we could fit it. We'll test fit. I was gonna do a single rad. Oh. No, we lost the screw. Oh, it's got a nice little lip to slide it into. They're learning lots of big lessons. So it mounts there, there, and there. Oh, there's totally space in the top for a, a radiator. Let me look at this real quick. You gotta be kidding me. So if we grab, which would be awesome, because then we could get a second 360 rad. Oh, and so those these fans on the front, I measured, I measured the fans on the front. I'll show you guys here. So that I guess technically that would be a push pull because we have a ton of room up here. I really honestly could have, uh, we could go up to 55 in the front and then let me check the top real quick just for shits and shiggles. If this drops, oh, it does. Oh my God. Look at that. There is rad space in the top though. You could do a 240 if you wanted. You could come out with a super thick radiator here. It could come up to like here. Come out to here. And you could do a 480 or a 240 in the top. I think we're still gonna do a single though. I think we could do triple fan exhaust out the top, which would look really cool. We should get a thicker front rad though. Man. Yeah, we should just get a th thick rad. Okay. So that was a foobar on my part. It said, in the documentation, like 55 support, including fans, but the fans actually mount to the outside. So we could actually put a 55 millimeter rad in the front, which would increase our cooling potential. So I'm gonna see if mod my mods will help me out on that one. We can definitely go thick. I'm excited, guys. Hope you guys are excited too. Uh, I think this goes in the front. Yeah, it most certainly does. And uh, we kind of messed up on our order there. I even uh, unboxed that and put calipers on it to measure it, to measure the fans. And they came out to 25 millimeters. And I was like, okay, 25 plus 30 equals 55. We'll do a 50, we'll do a 30 millimeter uh, radiator. And uh, obviously, we could have done much more. We'll do a case overview later. Does it have the, yeah, there's not gonna be the, front mount I don't think yeah it won't because it's just this little slide out thing I don't like the way they do that I wish they had a front mount that we could use hope you guys enjoyed this episode of what's in the box if you're interested in any of these items in more detail hit that sub and notification I'll see you next Tuesday